Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another soccer review and another flashback. Or is it flash forward? Ah, it's hard to remember what the name of this boot is when we have so many different directions with Nike all at once. But all kidding aside, this is going to be that final release of the flash forward throwback mercurials and this one's going to come from the 2010 World Cup. Now out of the box, these cleats look exactly like their Superfly counterparts. That might be an exaggeration, but they're pretty dang close from those that Ronaldo wore in the 2010 World Cup. Now the color mock purple, black, and total orange hit the nail right on the head with these cleats and really give us something we have not seen in any recent color ups of the Nike Vapor 9. The purple itself looks just awesome. I really, really love how it's not too deep like that high vis vapor that we saw back in October, but it's really more of an icy purple. It really looks great under the light and as you turn it. But unfortunately, this is going to be where the cool factor for me ends. The orange on this boot just does not do it for me. It's the same orange we've seen all year from Nike. And I, while that's not necessarily a bad thing, if you like this orange, for me, it really makes the striping just look awkward. The striping looks out of place and it almost reminds me of like a parking lot where you're not supposed to park or something on a loading dock where you're not supposed to stand. It's almost warning you of something. And the other thing I have is what's up with this orange on the bottom of this cleat? The orange gradient on the sole plate just seems to wrap around wherever it wants to. And for no reason, it seems to ignore the gradient that's on the upper itself altogether. This is especially evident under that Nike text on the instep. It's just orange, where it's not orange anywhere else on the boot. It, it just doesn't make sense to me. I would have really liked to see this plastic remain clear all the way around so you could see the color just naturally showing through it. And I think that would have been an all around better look to it than having just this awkward spray painted orange look to it. But again, that's just my opinion. Now onto the construction of this boot, nothing has really changed at all actually. It's the same dimpled Tasian upper that we've seen all year from Nike and it has their ACC treatment to it so you can keep playing in the wettest of conditions. Now the sole plate is that glass fiber composite with blade studs for mercurial speed, super lightweight, and of course flexibility. The fit is going to be narrow just like all vapors have been and if you've got wide feet you're probably going to want to look elsewhere. One cool note about this boot and all of the flash forwards has been on the inside sock liner where you'll see this cool little breakdown of the history of this boot and the inspiration for it and its counterpart, the 2010 Mercurial, it's modeled after. Now if you guys are interested in this boot, I've dropped some links down in the description for you to check out. Head on over to our website, take it for a spin in our 360 degree view and tell us what you guys think. Let us know down below which of the flash forward mercurials you have liked the best this year. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.